Day four, Monday, Jikai. Sorry that I had to get rough with you, kid. Seriously, dude? Come on. So sorry, Ota. Date told me to be the bad cop. I didn't tell you to gas him, but you know, I'm glad you did. I did not. Temper, temper. Whatever. Anyway, Ota, I have some things I want to ask you. I'm not going to beat around the bush. Let me get right down to it. Your mother, Mayumi Matsushita, was at the warehouse, wasn't she? Uh, what are you talking about? Was she there? Why would she be? I don't know, dude. That happened at 3 a.m. She was at home asleep. Then why did we find evidence at the crime scene? Evidence? Sure, it might not prove she was there, but it makes it likely. The evidence is... Uh... The polar bear dropped the weapon in Ota's Somnium. It was the floral pattern kitchen knife. On the handle were the words, Mom, I love you always. Date. From this, we can conclude that the knife... I know. I mean, the chocolate is kind of that as well, but... Wait, what? This isn't it? Oh, it is the chocolate. I would have thought the knife would be more conclusive than the chocolate. Like, anyone can buy chocolate. The polar bear could have bought chocolate and brought it with him. But that knife is unique to Mayumi. So I would have thought that the knife would be the thing that would prove it more than the chocolate, but sure, I guess. The Hodoroki Man chocolate. The same one I showed you at the hospital. I found it in the corner of the cold storage warehouse. So? That doesn't prove anything. Mayumi's fingerprints were on the package. What? You have a bad poker face, Ota. Your reaction tells me Mayumi didn't give this to you and you dropped it on your own. That information is confirmed. Ota's fingerprints were not found on the package. Mom isn't the killer! I didn't say that she was. I'm saying that she was at the scene. And so are you. Wait a minute. Why do you think Mayumi isn't the killer, Ota? Because she's a little old lady with dementia, man. Because I was face to face with that polar bear when we fought. I could tell it wasn't my mom, even through the costume. And no matter what happened, there's no way that my mom would stab me. Why are you covering for her? Covering? That's why you're lying to me, right? I'm not. Are you sure about that? You must have seen direct evidence of Mayumi being at the warehouse, but you're hiding that from us. Or maybe even you're starting to suspect her. I am not! Sure. What are you accusing me of anyway? What do you think I'm hiding? Uh... Now can we do the knife? Nice. The kitchen knife with a floral pattern. Mom, I love you always is carved on the handle. Ota gave me that knife for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. You were stabbed by that very same knife. How do you know that? The criminal ran away with the knife. No one was supposed to see it. I knew it. No, my mom didn't do it. Then why did you not mention the kitchen knife earlier? Because it incriminates her? Because... I know how it looks. I thought mom would get accused. And then she would have been brought in here and interrogated. I didn't want to put her through that. And... And? Mom never liked Tessa. So maybe, just maybe, mom hired someone to kill Tessa. And she gave them that kitchen knife. No way. I don't know. I thought of it that way. <laughs> like that would ever happen. I know it sounds crazy, but after I saw that knife, I just lost it. Hmm. Please, you have to believe me. Mom isn't a serial killer. Yeah, I agree. You do? I do. I don't think it's possible for Mayumi to have kidnapped Iris. Because... Uh... Two cars? Oh. 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 
Whoops. Mayumi Matsushi Mayumi purchased the chocolate yesterday at 10 30 p.m. Oh. oh, wait, no. The purchase was made at an 812 convenience store. The store was located approximately 100 yards from the Famisto where Ota stole the station wagon. So the timings don't line up? The Matsushita's van was stolen from the parking lot of the Famista while Iris was in the car. That was yesterday, 10.32 p.m. One minute later at the 8.12, which was about 100 yards away, Mayumi bought the Odoroki man chocolate. She entered the 8.12 about a minute earlier. This was all caught on security cameras at the store. That means it's impossible that Mayumi could have taken the van. And that means that Mayumi being the polar bear is also next to impossible. Phew. However, I can't completely clear her. What? You said it yourself. She could have hired someone to commit the crime. But that was... In any case, I need to hear from Mayumi herself. I need to hear her explain the chocolate, the knife. There's a lot to cover. I'm gonna head to Matsushita Diner. What? Hey, w wait a minute! Don't worry. I'm not going there to arrest her. I'm going there to clear her of suspicion. Really? Yes. You won't arrest her? Your mother wouldn't kill anyone. Right, Ota? Thank you, Date. Okay. Interesting. So, like, yeah. She she can't be the polar bear. But she was still there. Because <laughs> somehow the chocolate got there. Sorry for the late night, Miss Matsushita. But I have some questions I need to ask you. Could you spare some time? I finally remembered about the warehouse. Hmm? I did it. You did what? I did everything. Eh? Pardon? <laughs> what? Day five, Tuesday, Zoo Guy. <laughs> we had to take it, we had to arrest her. Oh god. I didn't do this last night because I wanted to give you a chance to calm down. How are you, now that you've slept on it? What are you talking about? I'll be honest, I don't think you're the killer. You're giving us a false confession. No, it's true! I kidnapped that witch, I took her to- Oops. Put her on the table and pulled her eyeball out. Sorry, didn't mean to click that. I kidnapped that witch and took her to the warehouse and... But, like, it's literally impossible because she was kidnapped before you bought the chocolate. <laughs> like, it was all captured on CCTV that you literally could not have done that, so... Yes. So why would she cover? And the polar bear costume? I bought it through mail order. So that... Why would she cover? Is she covering... The only person that she would cover for, as far as we know, is Ota. She hasn't got any connections to any other character that we know of. So she's covering for Ota for some reason. But why when Ota is the good guy in this story, unless he isn't? Because... Like, this is the one thing I've been chewing on, is that so much of it happened off screen. You never saw Ota and the polar bear on screen together, on the camera together. Polar Bear does the thing, then Oda comes in, turns it off, and then they fight. And it, it makes me think that maybe off screen he's taking on and off a Polar Bear suit and they're both him and she saw it. And that's why she's covering to save him, but that can't be the case because in the other timeline, Ota is killed as well. So... Obviously, he's not gonna, if this is, I don't know why he would do it, but if this was some kind of mega fucking giga brain plan where he's the polar bear and the person fighting the polar bear at the same time and only showing a little bit of it to the camera, like, that only works if he do if he doesn't die. <laughs> like, but the polar bear kills him in the other timeline, like, because like, he can stab himself in a way where he knows he's gonna survive. But in the other timeline, he is put in the machine and killed just like Iris is. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Why would she be... But why else would she confess if not to protect Ota? I don't know. And you were the one wearing it? Yes. 
That's right. Date, the criminal has confessed. Arrest her immediately. Boss, use your brain. You got to the top of the abyss acting like that. I heard that she used to be an actress. Sounds about right. Uh, why did you kidnap Iris? My son is under that witch's spell. Merchandise, concerts. She's bleeding him dry. I wanted to snap him out of it. I wanted to save him. Uh, why did you take out her eye? Because I... I just hated her so much. Sure. Killing her wasn't enough. Uh, Mayumi looks tense. Why did you want to stream it? I doubt she even knows how to set up a streaming thing. Because the world needs to see that witch die. Just a quick question, Mayumi. Do you know anything about <laughs> online streaming? Yeah. I'm not stupid. I might be old, but... Could you explain it to me? Huh? Step by step. Just tell me what you did. I, I can't explain it in words. <laughs> it's more like... Muscle memory. Sure. I was able to get it working after trying a few times, that's all. Uh, were you the one that stabbed Ota? Well... Uh... You were in the polar bear costume, right? That means you stabbed him. Yes! I, I stabbed him! With the knife I brought from home. I wasn't trying to hurt him. He fought me, and then it just... Where did you get the camera and laptop? I picked them out of the garbage. Which garbage? I, I don't remember. It's true, I planned the whole thing. About the Cyclops killings. What do you know about the Cyclops killer? We call the criminal we're after the new Cyclops killer. I know. They killed Shoko Nadami and Renju Okiura. That's right. Both corpses were found with their left eye pulled out. Same as Iris. This leads us to believe that the crimes were all committed by the same person. So this person in the polar bear costume they are the new Cyclops killer. And you're telling me that person is you? I wonder if it is all done by the same person. Because the first two were not streamed. Why was the third one streamed and the first two weren't? Because that is putting himself in a lot of danger. Like, because we were immediately able to see like where it was happening and go there. Because of the stream. So maybe, maybe it's a different person doing that one? Because that is a pretty major difference. Hmm. You killed Choco and Renju? Yes, I killed them. Uh, motive? Isn't Renju Okura the president of that awful company where the witch works? He's just as responsible. Using her to steal time and money from vulnerable kids. And I'm sure he was debaucherous and degenerate. That man is the root of all evil. Sure. That's why I killed him. Sure. Uh, why'd you kill Shoko? Rinju's ex-wife, right? I did it to get to him. But the two divorced four years ago. <laughs> that doesn't matter! The bonds of matrimony are eternal. Are they, though? <laughs> In your opinion, I don't think Renju felt the same way. Uh, you are really starting to aggravate me. I answered your questions, so there. When and how did you kill her? Well, I don't remember. What do you mean you don't remember? Do you really think that lie is going to work? Uh, I have a memory disorder. I don't always remember everything. It's not my fault. But you remember the cold storage warehouse. There are times I remember and times I don't remember. It changes. Date, 
Mayumi is not lying about that in particular. There are circumstances that might cause selective memory. For whatever reason, her memory might not have been stored properly in her mind. This is not uncharacteristic for those suffering from dementia. Why are you lying? I am not lying! You do know that perjury is a crime, right? I'm telling you, I'm not lying! I killed Shoko and Rinju, and I tried to cut that demon witch in half! Date, there's no point in letting this go on. She's clearly lying. You seemed convinced earlier. I was kidding. Huh. I don't think she's the killer. I am the killer! I am! Right now, we have to rely on hard evidence. The Odoroki Man chocolate that Mayumi bought was found at the warehouse. If Mayumi was at the scene before Ota... She may have seen the criminal's face. You know what I'm going to say, right? Date, sync with her. Okie dokie, we just did one, it's time for another. So, uh, yeah, if she was at the warehouse before Ota, she may have seen the criminal's face. So then she's covering for whoever it is, but again, we don't, she, we don't have any link to anyone from her. Computer, we're going to sync with Mayumi Matsushita. Prepare the machine. Um, well, uh, what happened? The sync machine isn't operating to capacity. What do you mean? Yesterday's sync, well, suffice to say, uh, Oda and Date were not too compatible. Compatible? I'll give you the big picture. To get the synchronization working properly, I had to push the machine pretty hard. And now, it's not responding. Well, shit. How long will it take to fix? 16 hours. At least. You've got eight. <laughs> but that's impossible. So we can't sync yet, huh? But we need to, or this investigation is going nowhere. Date, I suggest we go to Matsushita Diner. We may be able to find some clues. Good idea. All right. I let Boss and Pewter know. Pewter, we're counting on you for those repairs. I'll be back in six hours. But you said eight. Please, you have to give me at least eight. That Pewter, always so humble. He'll have it done in six. Yeah, Pewter is just that kind of guy, you know? Hey, this is a hostile work environment. <laughs> Okay. Meow. Why would Mayumi lie? She is probably protecting someone. But who? Surely you know by now. There is only one person Mayumi would want to protect that badly. Ota. Okay, I mean, obviously, I'd say Oto, but I'm going to say all the others first just to see our responses. This is bad. His condition is worsening. <laughs> Perhaps we need to increase the dose. The dose? What is this dose that she's mentioned before? Or reduce it? I can hear you muttering, you know. Mayumi hates Iris. I doubt she would protect her. You're right. Congressman Sajima has no connection to Mayumi. Or do you know something I don't? No, sorry. Just a guess. No need to apologize. I know that the brilliant mind of Kaname Date wouldn't waste my time throwing out random guesses. <laughs> I am sure I will agree with you once you explain your reasoning. In detail. You don't have to bully me. I was just thinking out loud. Yeah, so that's what I was saying. She must be covering for Ota, but how? Like, what would confessing... Like, the only way that covers for Ota is if Ota is responsible, but Ota's not responsible. Because in the other timeline, Ota is killed there. So if Ota was responsible, he wouldn't kill himself. Like, stabbing yourself to make it look as though you are also a victim is a valid course that people take sometimes. But, like, if you're dead, then what's the point in any of it? It's Ota. It has to be. Does Mayumi think Ota is the killer? Last night, Ota left Matsushita Diner with Iris. Mayumi saw the whole thing. But Ota was stabbed in the stomach by the culprit. 
Does Mayumi not remember that? No, that isn't quite it. It is possible that she thinks Ota is responsible for everything. She thinks Ota stabbed himself? Yes. Why would he do that? Before I explain, I would like to hear your thoughts. What do you think about the possibility that Ota is the new Cyclops killer? Impossible. Why? Why can't Ota be the culprit? Iris had her eye taken out, the van stolen. In yesterday's Somnium, Ota and the polar bear. Uh. Well, I mean, the van was stolen, but it might not have. He might have hired someone. The van was stolen while Iris was in the passenger seat. We know that whoever did it is the culprit we're looking for. There is a chance that Iris was not in the passenger seat. She could have been driving. What? How so? Iris could have taken the wheel herself and driven to the warehouse. But forensics only found Ota's fingerprints on the wheel. That can be explained. It is possible that Iris covered her fingertips with her sleeves. Why would she do that, though? And she screamed out for Ota. Iris had her left eye pulled out. Ota would never do that. Have you considered that she pulled it out herself? What? What is this? <laughs> what? Or even asked Ota to do it. You're insane. Perhaps she ordered him to. No one would do that. No one would order someone else to pull their fucking eye out. Uh, oh, I just shiver, like, even thinking of it. Can you imagine? Can you imagine having your eye ripped out your fucking head? In yesterday's Somnium, Ota and the polar bear. That was just a dream. It doesn't necessarily reflect what happened in reality. I don't understand. In short, Ota and Iris are accomplices. This was all a performance. I don't think so. A performance? Iris drove the Matsushita's van. Ota drove the station wagon. They went to the warehouse separately. Then, they prepared the live stream. Iris anesthetized her left eye and removed it. Either that, or she asked Ota to extract it. After that, Iris took her position on the table, and Ota donned the polar bear costume and started the saw. Consider this. In the stream, Ota and the polar bear were never on screen at the same time. Yeah, I mean, I have pointed that out, but like, again, in the other timeline, she dies. So... <laughs> True. That means Ota went off camera, took off the costume, and then... Are they are they actually putting this forward as, like, this is actually what happened? Because it kind of sounds like that, but that just seems so impossible to me. No one would fucking choose to yeet their left Get eye out. From Tessa. And they both die in the Perhaps other timeline where this happens. The entire event. It is also possible that Mayumi knew what the two were up to. So she lied to protect Ota. Yes, but this is only a theory. A game theory. Now, I, I, I 100% don't believe that. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Like, if we didn't have the knowledge of the other timeline, I might be more, like, thinking about it. Even though choosing to rip your own fucking eye out just doesn't seem like something anyone would willingly do. Uh, but, like, yeah, because of the knowledge we have of the other timeline where they both die, like... Yeah, I don't think so. Just doesn't make sense. Why would they do that? Consider the possibility that Iris killed Shoko and Renju. <laughs> I don't think so. Then, this whole thing was to get her off the suspects list. That's why she pulled out her eye and had Ota stab himself. It makes it look like there's another criminal involved. I will repeat myself in saying that this is only a theory. It is one of many possibilities. And it's possible, but I don't think it's very likely. They wouldn't go that far just to avoid suspicion. Date, you must consider the mental state of the serial killer. Shoko and Renju were both exposed and displayed. And they both had their left eye removed while they were still alive. Whoever our killer is, it is clear that they are sociopathic, or even psychotic. 
Yeah, which Iris isn't, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> we can't rule anything out. I will I would be shocked if that is the route they end up going. And I would call bullshit. <laughs> unless unless there is some very, very, very good uh, reason that they have yet to reveal. I would call huge amounts of bullshit on that. If that was like, yeah, that is actually what happened. Ota. Why are you? Why did you arrest mom? You said you were going to clear her. Yeah, and then she confessed. Why? That wasn't part of the that wasn't part of the plan, <laughs> you know. Didn't think she was gonna be like, yeah, I, I killed him. Yeah, yeah. There's a photo in front of Ota. It's a photo. A low table. Da -da -da, condiments. Anything. Cushions. Menu, counter, stall. It doesn't seem like there's anything new, really. Sure. Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, swinging door? Um. You doing okay? Okay? How could I be okay? I got stabbed by a serial killer. Easy, kid. You're gonna open up your stitches. <laughs> Why are you here? When I was in the hospital, the police came to me. They told me that my mom confessed. Well, then you already know why she was arrested. Fucking idiot. I couldn't idiot. believe it, so I went to the police station. But because she was under investigation, they wouldn't let me see her. After that, I didn't feel like going back to the hospital. That's why I'm here. Wait, oh. Do we not get to choose the other things? Man, I really wish that they would make clear what one advances conversation and what one doesn't. It's not like Mayumi is under arrest. Wait, she isn't? You asked me why your mom was arrested earlier, but she isn't under arrest. What? I spoke with her as part of my investigation, yes. But as a source of valuable information, not as a suspect. Mayumi confessed, but it's highly likely that she's lying. So we haven't issued a warrant for her arrest. That's what I've been saying. Mom didn't do it. She's innocent. Is Iris the criminal? Word is going around. Maybe Iris was the one who killed Shoko and Renju. And you and her planned this warehouse incident to get her off our suspects list. No way. Tessa had her eye. She could have pulled it out herself. Or asked you to do it. You're kidding me, right? Do you really think I would do that? I was fighting for my life against the criminal. That wasn't caught on camera, though. Neither was the part where you got stabbed. You're saying that I stabbed myself? It wouldn't be the first time you fake something, would it, Ota? You... Did you stage the warehouse incident? I'm telling you, I didn't! Then why is Mayumi protecting you? Mom is protecting me? Your mother is stubborn. She's lying to us because she's protecting someone. The only person I can think of would be you. Why? Apparently she thinks that you're the criminal. Why would she think that? Your guess is as good as mine. Got any ideas? Maybe because of her condition. Mom has... Dementia. Maybe her memory is just mixed up. Everything is my fault. It's because of me that Mom is... I know how it looks now, but back in the day, the diner was doing pretty good. You know Bloom Park is close by here, right? Yeah. People who visited the park would stop here a lot. But ever since the explosion eight years ago... The chemical plant accident? Yeah. We're just barely outside of the restricted area, but because Bloom Park closed, 
The number of customers dropped by a lot. The diner didn't last much longer. When this place closed, Dad started working at a Chinese restaurant chain during the day, and he was a security guard and traffic cop at night. Mom worked as a janitor, and we're both working hard and barely got any sleep. And you? I was just a high school student at the time. I was... such a dumbass. And uh, nothing's changed there. I thought it was totally normal to have both parents working, so I didn't even get a part-time job. I mean, it is normal to have both parents working. Is that is that not normal in Japan or something? <laughs> like, pretty much everyone I know, their parents both work. <laughs> That's just how it is, you know? And they bought me a PC and idol concert tickets. I had it good, but we were drowning in debt. What was the debt for? And there's a loan on the house and the diner. Ah. Mom and dad didn't let this place go. There are too many memories here to give it up. So they slaved day and night to keep it open. They worked and worked and worked. Thanks to them, I was even able to go to a good university, but right after I started, Dad... Passed away? Yeah. He had a heart attack. From overwork. You hate to hear it. But even then, I didn't get it, you know? I didn't appreciate how hard they worked for me. Even when I wasn't taking college seriously and getting bad grades, my mom didn't say a thing. She just smiled and told me that it was okay. Even when I told her I was going to drop out. Mom, I'm thinking of dropping out of college. What? Why do you want to do that, Ota? I decided that I'm going to become a writer. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a classic, isn't it? Yes. I'm going to be a writer. And, uh, that's just gonna, that's just gonna pay my bills, that is, yep. <laughs> Everyone can just become a writer and get published and make money, yeah. Wow, a writer. Oh, that's a good goal to have. But you really should finish college. You work so hard to get in. <sighs> you don't understand, Mom. A writer has to put all of their time into their creativity. I won't have time to go to classes. Plus, I'm friends with the editor of a publishing company. I'm definitely going to have my first book published. <laughs> and we know that that didn't happen. Is that right? Well, Ota, if you say so, I won't stop you. Do what makes you happy. You'll turn out just fine. I know you can do it. And no matter what happens, Mom will always be on your side, okay? Forever and ever. I'll always support you, Ota. You lied about the editor thing, right? Yeah. How do you guess? Because you're a fucking lying little shit. <laughs> it was really just a few texts back and forth. But I was thrilled. I thought I could make it as a writer because of that. But... It's impossible. I know there's no way I can be a writer. I've never even finished writing a novel. Not even once. I always give up after the first 5,000 words. To even apply for the amateurs contest, you have to submit ten times that. But mom, she still, she kept supporting me. When did Mayumi's illness start? Not long after I quit college, mom was always smiling at me. But I think she was starting to slip mentally. One day. What's wrong, Ota? Do you have the day off from school? Are you being sarcastic? Oh, right. You don't attend anymore. Oopsie, I totally forgot. How can you forget your own son's career choice? Sorry, sorry. Anyway, are you hungry? You haven't eaten anything since this morning, have you? Are you kidding? What? I ate breakfast and lunch already. Oh, did you? Uh, by the way, Ota, what's living at the dorms like? Why are you making fun of me? I'm not teasing you, honey. Don't fuck with me! Oof. Listen to the rest of the story. Mom got sick because I'm such a piece of shit. 
I'm pretty sure that's not how dementia works, but sure. I was only thinking about myself. I didn't take care of her. It was so stupid, I didn't realize she was sick. I thought she was messing with me. I was so cruel to her for no reason. Yeah, well that's shit, obviously. <laughs> like, it's pretty, pretty easy to tell when someone's got dementia. And she got worse and worse. Um... At least when it's someone you know. What's that picture? Oda turned the photo frame to me so I could see. Looking at this photo reminds me. One time, when I was a kid, I said something really bad to Mom and Dad. And they scolded me for it. And it's not like it was an apology or anything. But Dad and I gave her a Mother's Day gift. My mom was so happy that she cried. That's what this photo is from. <laughs> Why did it turn out like this? I'm such a bad son. Hey, Iva. What is it? I don't like Ota one bit. Correct. <laughs> but I can't imagine that this guy's the criminal. Also correct. Why is that? Hearing his story made me think that he's not such a bad guy. Your presumption is illogical. Human beings are illogical. We're not like you AI. We can't be logical all the time. But we make up for it in one very important way. What is that? Intuition. Do you find that useful? At times. Hmm. Iva, let's go back to the cold storage warehouse. We might be missing something. <sighs> Understood. Alrighty. Otis sitting with a depressed look on his face. Well, that seems like a pretty good point to end off for today then. A table. Nice. <laughs> uh, so, next time, we'll head to the cold storage warehouse, investigate that a bit more, and then probably not too long until we go back to uh, go into Mayumi's dreams and see how that goes. So... Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for more I, The Somnium Files. Thanks for watching. See you then.